Today I'm going to be doing a declutter with me. I have been putting this off for months. Don't tell me this is another one. Oh my god, Katie, what were you doing in winter? I need you to help me decide what jeans are the best. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's called progress. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a declutter with me. I have been putting this off for months. As you will see behind me, we have a very full cupboard. <laughs> Then you'll see on the floor if I can get my ass out of the way. Um, there's huge pile, <laughs> huge pile of clothes here to be sorted. And the reason that they are all on the floor is because I no longer have many hanging, um, hanging, many hangers left, which is always a sign that my thing is too full because I bought like a whole new set of hangers last time I did a declutter with me. So yeah, I have. Plenty enough hangers, I just have too many clothes. So my plan today is to actually be quite brutal with my cull. I'm gonna be getting rid of dresses that probably still have tags on them, some really high-end stuff. Um, there's just stuff that I don't ever wear. And I don't go to enough balls, as you know. You've probably watched my videos before. I'm not in ball circles. And I don't have formals, I don't have formal dinners or parties to go to. I don't honestly have many events at all to go to. So there is no need for one gal who has very little social life to own this many fancy dresses. With that being said, if you want to grab yourself anything that I say is going to be sold um, instead of donated this on this video, then you can check out my Depop account, which will be down below, linked as always. But I imagine some of it will probably get donated as well as I, I have very high standards for what I sell. I don't like to sell anything that's been too used because I just personally think unless it's an op shop or something like that and I'm buying it from an op shop and can see it in person, I wouldn't want someone to receive that from me and have paid money. So I'm very, very stringent, strict on what I sell. Um, but anyway, without further ado, we're going to go through that, but I also would like to go through the um, drawers over there, which has my jeans in it, because I have so many jeans now, it's ridiculous. We've been on the hunt for the perfect pair of jeans, and I'm, I have found many great ones along the way, but I almost have too many good jeans now, so I need to go through it and cull. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and come down and leave me comments along the way, because your engagement always helps me as well. Okay, let's do this. So I think we should put all of the pile of stuff on the bed and then we can go through the hanging stuff first because to be honest with you, the hanging stuff is probably the bulk of it. <laughs> on my floor in that cupboard. <laughs> it's deceiving, okay? Um, I actually think I might even pull the jumpers down as well because that probably needs culling too. Yeah, let's continue to make the mess. <laughs> out of breath after that. <laughs> that is a nuts amount and that's just the jumpers and the stuff that was on the floor of my closet which is insane. Um, someone asked me the other day as well if I could do a giveaway and honestly I would do it but I feel that it's sort of um what's the word only a niche of people will be my size and like what is up for grabs as a giveaway so I think I'm gonna um save a giveaway for something that's more broad or general um but i really do want to do a giveaway and i really liked the idea i just don't think it's very fair to cut out half of my audience out of the giveaway by like saying it's only a like size 16 dress for example or something you know so um i will get back to you with a giveaway it's just one of those things where it's like do you don't you kind of thing um but anyway 
let's go through this pile. So this is the Saw It First black jumper dress. I do really like that, so I'm going to keep that. This is a jumper that was a, um, it's inside out, but it was a sample that didn't make the cut for my merch, which is still coming. I just haven't had the mental capacity, quite honestly, to deal with the website and all the rest of it that goes with that. Um, this is a brown cardi from Kmart. Yeah, I like that. Um, this is a brown little crop, a brown Katie black crop-ish jumper. Comes in really handy for styling. I'm going to get rid of this. I think I'm going to donate it because it is in relatively good nick, but it kind of has like those baubly bits that form with that kind of knitted material. And from memory, it was like alley or something. Cotton on large, yeah. I did pay a bit of, I pay for that full price actually. But I kind of just feel like I'm past this moment of my life. So I just got this jacket. This one was the cotton on haul 90s denim jacket, keeping that. Same for this one. This one was on my floor. <laughs> this one's from Finity and Co. Love it. So keeping that. Um, a t shirt, keeping actually, yeah, keeping that. Another basic tee. I've kind of outgrown this. It doesn't really have any stretch in it. It's from um, Kmart. And I think I'm going to sell it because it is in really good nick. I just don't fit it around the arms anymore um, because it's a size 16 and I'm probably an 18 at Kmart now. So I think I'm going to sell that. It'll be super cheap though. Also going to sell these pants. They are too itchy. I've tried washing them. Didn't help. Didn't work. My slip skirt from Cotton On, love this, keeping it. I'm going to get rid of this. This is a jumper from, I think it was Orange Sherbet, but I just don't reach it for it because of the colour. I find that it washes me out. So um, I'd never really owned anything like this colour before, so it's always good to try. I'm going to donate that though because it's got, again, the baubly bits. Oh, I think, am I going to get rid of this or am I going to keep it? It's a good sloppy joe with the cherries on it. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Another cotton on, a uh, cotton on, Kmart um, top. See, it's in size 18 and it was that linen white top, so I'm keeping that. Skirt from Orange Sherbet. I feel like it gets questions all the time. I love it so much. I'm keeping it. These pants from Forever New or City Chic, I can't remember which one. Keeping those. I'm going to get rid of this jumper. I feel like this came up in the same declutter with me video last time and I said I'll keep it but I never wear it so I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, this set was from Fashion Nova and I think I'm going to sell it because I never wear it and it's gorgeous but it's too hot in Queensland. It really needs to go to someone who lives in like Victoria. Here we go, something with a tag on it. <laughs> this is from Fashion Nova and it's a size 1X. This is the same as the shorts um, that I wear all the time. Um, but it, I never wear the top version because again, it's too hot in Queensland, but it comes with this cute little side tassels um, And it's got the line pin pin line sort of thing I don't know what you'd really call it But the waist cinches in if you pull the cord tighter and it's just a really luxy good quality piece Again, it's just too hot for me to wear. This is the sports girl jumper that I just got last season. I'm keeping that because I've definitely noticed over the past couple of years that I've been trying to make more of a staple wardrobe filled with like neutrals and classic tones. Um, and then sort of bringing in more patterns in the seasons that it's popular um, instead of, you know, making a whole new wardrobe based off patterns, if that makes any kind of sense. So this top was from Orange Sherbet. I love it. I'm going to keep it because it's perfect for summer. I'm going to sell this set as well, which was from Kmart. And it was that really luxy, or should I keep it? No, I never wear it. I mean, it's like so soft. It was that trending piece that everybody and their mum was wearing on, on social media. Um, and honestly, it just feels like cashmere. Like it's so soft. Um, I got it in a size 14, but it's so generous. Um, and with that, I've got the pants. And just so stunning. It's wide-legged. No seams except for the top. Um, I just am obsessed with it. It does need to be ironed and, um, what's it called? Rubbed over with a D-linter. But 
Yeah, I'm definitely selling that because the top has never been worn. The top has never been worn. This was from Cotton On. It's a dress in my latest haul, keeping that. Oh, this is probably my most worn or one of my most worn day-to-day -day items from Orange Sherbet. It's this particular style. I can't remember if it's called... I know it was the Pond Collection, but I can't remember the name of the actual dress. But it's got this beautiful long midi length and then it's got a stretchy top and it's the most comfortable thing you can wear, eat, do whatever you want in it and it's really good quality piece. I honestly wear it at least once a week. Um, see what I mean? I've got another black staple. This one's from Kmart, a crop jumper. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this pink cardigan jumper. I'm going to donate that. Same for this cheetah jumper thing. Donate. And I'm going to sell this cardigan. I never wear it. I always like to think that I'm going to, and I never do. It matches my inner personality, but my outer exterior doesn't match it, um, or it doesn't suit the complexion of it. It's got like rainbows, dots, and fluffiness. But as, as you can see, my complexion just doesn't suit it. I don't know. Maybe it's a me thing. But it's really weighty and luxy. I've literally worn it once. <laughs> Don't tell me this is another one. Oh my god, Katie, what were you doing in winter? I have another cropped black jumper. I'm gonna be selling that. There's no way I'm keeping that many, Katie. Oh, and this is the, the dress, guys, that will now be known as the dress that made me cry. Um, in a good way. <laughs> I would love to get a wear out of this dress. It is stunning, honestly, and I think even if I never wear it in my lifetime, it'll be one of those items that I just never get rid of because I have an emotional attachment to it. Um, the mustard cardigan I'm going to keep because I found a lot of wear out of that last season. I think I'm also going to sell this particular item from Saw It First, or I Saw It First, whatever it's called. It's just a... Um, I don't know if you guys will remember seeing it on my Instagram, but it's like a beige jumper. It has a wide sleeve though, and I find that really annoying to function with kids, but if I didn't have kids, I'd wear this all the bloody time. It's just a really nice knit, not too heavy weight, and it comes with a belt, so I'm gonna sell that. The dress from Finity & Co, it's again off the floor because I needed to hang it. Um, this is the dress I'm wearing for Christmas. Oh, it's just stunning. If you want to see this on, go check out my Instagram. It's beautiful. Another dress. This is the same as that pond dress from um, Orange Sherbet. This is an older style, though. It's more of a mustard yellow. I wear these all the time, so there's no way I'm getting rid of that. Now, this is a Kmart dress. I'm actually going to sell this because I tried to take photos in it the other day and it was so annoying to wear. I think I bought a size too big. It's a size 16, but I should have probably gone the 14 in it. It's just around the um, shoulder area. It's just my shoulders tend to slope. They're not very like rigid and it just doesn't like to sit on it. So it's annoying because the print is everything and I would love to wear that this summer, but it's just not going to sit nicely on me. Now this is a... Um, city chic dress and I'm actually going to sell this because I've already worn it some to a wedding and I just know that I won't ever wear it again um, because I'm not that size anymore so I think it was a size oh I have it in a size medium I thought I bought it in a size extra small maybe I can keep it it is stunning like it's got these beautiful flowers all over it you know when you've worn something and you're like yeah I've got that many other nice like the teal dress and stuff that would be at the same occasion as this that I'd rather choose that over this. My mustard denim jacket. I'm yet to find an occasion to wear this, but I will. I want to wear it. <laughs> My seed jumper. I'm going to keep. This is a really cute pebble dress from Orange Sherbet. Another um, Orange Sherbet dress. It's getting really hot in this room. I wear this at least once a week. It's like one of my go-to styles, so easy to chuck on. And this is a pink jumper from City Chic. I'm gonna sell this because I just know I won't ever wear it with the kids because again, the sleeves on it, I just know will get dunked in kids' food and it's just too nice for me. <laughs> it's too nice for my kids to be around. Um, this is a tie-dye crop jumper 
really like it, but I'm like, I never ever wear it. I'm selling it. Yeah, she's called it, selling it. All right, that's that pile. Okay, I hope you're able to see there. Um, this dress was my, it's inside out, but it was my bridal shower dress, so I'm not gonna get rid of that, and that was my baby shower dress, so I'm not gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this. I think I'm gonna sell it. Um, actually, no, nah, I'm gonna donate it because it's too faded. It sat out in the um, sun to dry. Back when we used to hang our stuff in the sun, I no longer do that because it has ruined far too many of my garments, so we now hang all of our stuff inside. I'm definitely selling this. I never, ever, ever pull them out to wear them. They are overalls from Fashion Nova, and they've still got the tag on them, 1X. Another one to donate. This was an original, not original, why do I keep saying original? This was originally from Cotton On, um, but it's a bit too, a bit too yucky to sell. I'm gonna sell this one from Fashion Nova. It's stuck between the boxes down there. It's another jumpsuit. Again, I just never reach for jumpsuits. It's just something that's not in my nature to do. I'm going to donate this one. I think it was originally St. Frock. Any of you live locally to me and you see anything that I'm donating that you think, oh my God, I don't mind having a few stains or a few things and you want it for free. Um, it probably costs a lot to ship to anyone, I'm afraid, but if you live near me and you can get back to me within the next day, because I, I hate clutter in my garage, um, but I will be putting it all into a bag. So if you want to reach out to me in the next day, then I can um, hold it for you and we can meet up somewhere. But, um, but yeah, because I know that a lot of people don't mind stuff like that so um, another one from forever new that I'm gonna keep it's just a stunning classic same for this one forever new it's a wrap floral dress really like it city chic this is relatively new it's like a nice maxi dress I'm gonna keep that because I really like it as well this is one of those ones that I'm like will I ever get to wear it <laughs> kind of dresses from city chic but I really like it so Again, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to get rid of this one. It was from Love Style Co. I just don't ever reach for it because it's a little bit see-through on the um, boob area. And it's also a size too big for me now. Um, I don't know whether it's stretched after washing or whatever it was, but I'm going to sell that one. Because with a nude um, bra, it does look really nice. It's just more so the waistband that's a bit too loose for me. Then we've got my Adrift dress. I really love this dress. It's very similar to that sunset one that I got from p &Q, but it's a shorter version. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just don't ever reach for it. It's a Saint Frock dress. Um, the little tears, so cute. I told you guys, I'm being savage today. I don't, like I have so many clothes in my wardrobe, but there's always like things that don't fit me or I'm like, oh no, I can't wear that to this occasion. So yeah, and then I also have this from St. Frock, which I never wear, but I do really want to wear it. So I'm going to save that for some time. Um, this one I'm just never going to get rid of because again, it's got that emotional attachment. If you saw my TikTok, you'll know why. Um, this one is just too unique to get rid of. Um, it's perfect for things like TikTok themed videos. So as a content creator, sometimes the clothes that I keep are more so in content creation. Um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Like ideas for content. So I don't really wear them day to day, but they're fun to make content with. This is an original St. Brock that I bought um, in that first ever haul that I made from St. Brock. And I love it, but I think I'm past it, but I'm gonna sell it because it's in really good nick. This one is a Kmart item. I really like it. I'm actually gonna keep it because it's a little annoying with straps because I wear a lot of thick mummy strap dress um, bras, but it is really nice and easy for summer to wear. Um, this one is a St. Frock one. I again, I'm not St. Frock, orange sherbet. Again, I love it. I've had this for a little bit of time and I really enjoy it. Faith and Grace, absolutely love this one. I always forget about it because it's hidden in here. Um, I would love to wear this this summer, so not getting rid of that. I am, however, gonna get rid of this one. It has never been worn. It is from Sea Folly, I think. Yep, Sea Folly in size large. It's actually very gen generous. I bought it when I was like a size 14 to 16, I think. Um, so it is quite generously sized. It's got it's pure linen. I don't know if you had to see that, but it's a beautiful linen, thick, canvassy color uh, sort of feeling, and it's got functional buttons so you can breastfeed. And then the back has this beautiful wire design, and then it's like a low plunging back. 
and it's got a belt. It is so stunning and it's like a midi, midi style. I'm actually really jealous that I'm giving that away, but I know it won't fit me, so I have to. <laughs> I hate holding on to things saying, oh, I'll lose the weight again and I'll wear that again. No, I don't do that because I'm just like, that's then pressure on myself to have a number in my head or to have a figure in my head. And I don't like that kind of pressure. It's not good for my mental health, body positivity or self-love. Next up is a dress from, I think it was Orange Sherbet. Love it, not getting rid of it, so functional. This one from Orange Sherbet, Orange Sherbet I am gonna get rid of because again, it's one of those dresses that I'm like, when will I wear this? It's got a beautiful tassel on the inside, uh, on the center. Um, and it's just the most stunning print. Lovely high neck. It would be lovely if I went out to like, more girl nights or like cocktail nights or whatever. I don't, because <laughs> all my friends are mums, and so we never get time off at the same time together to go. Guys, we've made it through this much, and I've still got <laughs> all of this to go, plus the jeans. Um, this one is another one from City Chic. I'm gonna keep this one. This actually came originally with that brown belt that I wear, wear all the time. It's just such a unique design, again, for content creation, it's really useful. This one is just absolutely divine, but I think I'm going to sell it because I honestly haven't reached for it. And again, I don't know when I would reach for it. It's not very mum appropriate in my opinion. It would be event appropriate, but again, I have so many dresses, but not enough events. So <laughs> I think it would really suit someone who likes to wear Dr. Martens or has a unique taste in style. And it's a really beautiful luxe item. It's just something that I can't wear. I'm also going to be getting rid of this one from City Chic because I just, again, don't ever wear it. Now this dress is probably the cheapest thing that I own. It's from Tempt and it's not the greatest quality, but it is so figure hugging and it makes me feel sexy. And quite honestly, I don't care how much it cost. <laughs> if it makes me feel good and look good, then I'm gonna keep it. And I've worn it once and I'll probably wear it again. <laughs> I really love these dresses, but again, I just never wear them. I've got so many of this same design. Um, let me show you. I've got the two, two that are the same design. Hmm, I'm not sure if I wanna get rid of the, either of those. I really like them both. <laughs> I'm gonna put them back and I'll come back. Let's see, let's see, we'll wait and see. Another dress that is very like work formal from City Chic. I'm gonna sell this. It was originally $120 but I've never worn it, so I'm going to sell that, I think. I'm going to donate this one. It's just quite shriveled from being washed, originally from orange sherbet. I just never reach for it again, and I think I've too gained a little bit too much weight to pull this one off, because it's got the buttons. This one from orange sherbet is super cute. It is currently inside out, and I actually forgot that I owned this, so I'm gonna wear that a little bit more. <laughs> oh, another hanger. This is another dress that I'm like, I really like it, but my boobs, the way, that, the way that they hang, because, you know, I've had kids, I've given them milk, um, the seam of the dress just kind of sits funnily on it. I think I should have really sized up, and this is from Shein 0XL, so I'm going to sell that one. This one's from Nasty Gal, keeping. Another one that's a good theme dress, keeping. I'm going to sell this one. It's my old faithful red dress that I use all the time in content creation, but it's too small for me now. My tummy looks ridiculous in it. It's from City Chic. I've never worn it out of the house. I literally just wear it for content creation, so I'm really sad to see that go. Yet another dress for content creation, <laughs> keeping it. I think I'm going to sell this beautiful red dress. It's a size too small for me now. It's from Orange Sherbet and it's a size 14. Oh my God, yes, definitely selling that. It's just stunning though. Like that would be the perfect Christmas dress for anybody interested. Oh, stunning. Stunning, darling. Wow, another original from Orange Sherbet. I'm gonna donate this one. Yet another one that I'll never wear, but great for content creation. <laughs> I'm going to sell this one. It's from Shein, but it's really nice, and um, it's like a businessy crossover dress. Love it. I actually forgot that I just got that from Orange Sherbet. Can't wait to wear. <laughs> This one I'm going to get rid of though, it is a size too small. Oh my god, it's another size 14 dress. When was I a size 14 again? <laughs> a very long time ago. Another dress that I'm going to be selling, this is a you and all boutique dress. I just loved it, but again, never had anywhere to wear it. Perfect for work, but I don't go to an office. Another perfect Christmas jumpsuit from Kmart. 
Um, I never wear this, so I think I'm going to... I'll try and sell it, but if not, I'll donate it. Another beautiful, stunning dress from Orange Sherbet. I've not yet worn this anywhere, but I really want to over summer, so I'm not going to get rid of that. This dress from the You and All Boutique. Again, really like it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. This dress is from Yoins. It's got this super cute Dalmatian print. I'm going to get rid of it because I just never reach for it. These were my gold pants and I, I just literally talked not even that long ago about, in this video, about having gold items of clothes to keep pressure on you and I'm going to get rid of them because I don't need that kind of pressure. So um, they are stunning though and I, they're just like gold pants quite honestly. They've got beautiful dots all over them. They're from Portman size 16. They're just stunning and and I hate that I can't wear them. <laughs> this is one of those items that I think will literally come with me till I die. Um, it's from Orange Sherbet and it's a maxi skirt. It's the Pebble maxi skirt. I don't think they stock it anymore, but they do still have designs very similar to this. I just love it. It's my favorite item that I've ever, ever, ever bought. Well, actually, I think they get gifted it to me very kindly, um, but it's the best thing that I've ever owned in my life and I wear it far too often. I love this skirt. It is a um, leopard pleated skirt. I'm however going to be getting rid of this one. I just never reach for it. It's more of like a mermaid design and it's got a slit on the side. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. It's in the size 14 but it's very generous and um, I think I was a 16 when I bought this. love this skirt. Um, I wear it quite frequently. I think it was from Betty Lane. Yeah. Oh another skirt that I'm yet to wear from Saint Frock. Size 16. Um, beautiful brown color. Oh, love that. Love that. I'm going to be selling this one. It is a, again, a pleated design. It's got white pebbly black design on it. Um, it's got a lovely big wide thick band at the top and it's in the size 14 from Grace & Co. I think originally it was from Orange Sherbet. Um, and yeah, it's just a stunning design, but I never have anywhere to wear it. Isn't that a common theme of this video? Another item that I'm going to be donating is this beautiful one from Kmart. This one's from Faith and & Grace and is it Faith and & Grace? Orange Sherbet. Adrift! There you go. Um, and a, a sustainable or ethical? Ethical, maybe sustainable company. Um, adrift. Beautiful. Love that. I don't wear that enough. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's called progress. A grey jumpsuit from City Chic. I'm going to keep that. I don't wear it enough, but I love it. I've also got my dungarees. I think things like dungarees are just one of those things that I'm never going to get rid of purely because they are so handy. You can switch out whatever base top is in trend. Um, I've got my purple or lilac cardigan, not going to get rid of. My white cardigan from Orange Sherbet, not going to get rid of. Oh, found another hanger. Denim jacket from Fashion Nova. I'm actually going to sell this because I never wear it and it's a size too small for me now. It's an extra large and I ended up getting a different one from Sue Cheek, I think it was. Linen jacket from Kmart, going to keep that. I'm going to sell this one. It's from Fashion Nova. It's still got the tags on it. Um, again, a size extra large. Pink denim jacket, love that. Again, don't wear that enough. Gonna get rid of this pink blazer. I've kept this around for far too long. I'm never gonna fit it again. It's from Dotty, size 12. What were you thinking, Katie? Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Okay, it's gone. And again, my big jackets, um, which I have two of almost the same, but I like both of them for different reasons. Oh, here's the denim jacket that I was referring to. Oh, Fashion Over Men. Nope, that's Elliot's. <laughs> And then the other things back there are just super thick jackets or things that I very rarely need but I do still want. Okay, so moving over to this side, we've got our skirts. Um, I cull this section pretty frequently. So I've got my corduroy skirt in black and I've got my denim ones. So I like those, happy with those. Shirt from Orange Sherbet, going to keep that. Another little like croppy top kind of knit thing. Very rarely wear it, wear it but again, it's not winter yet so 
we will wait. My thrifted top, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna donate it back again, because honestly, I never wear it. This top from Seed, I'm gonna sell that too. It's got a lovely peplum bottom. Um, it's beautifully soft, very rarely worn. I think I've worn it maybe once. This top from Fashion Nova, I'm gonna keep. It's very versatile, useful. My linen top from h and I'm gonna keep. Linen thrifted top, I'm gonna keep. The brown top from Kmart, I'm gonna keep. This one, mm, I'm going to get rid of that one. It's from um, Zara. I just never wear it, you know. Same goes for this brown. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the brown one because that's kind of nice for a night out with jeans. And these ones, oh, I saw it first, I think they were. So I'm going to keep those. And um, last but not least, I'm actually going to get rid of this white top. It was from You and All. Um, and then the under part where the boobs get covered by a second lining you could see the where the second lining ended so I cut that off and it's just ruined it <laughs> okay so this is everything that I'm selling I'm gonna be taking forever to get this all up on Depop um, and then I've got the bags at the back of the stuff that I'm donating and a very small bag hanging on the door that is to throw um, just stuff that's been used a lot or is broken or whatever. Um, so I'm really happy that most of this stuff is going to be finding new homes because I hate waste, I hate things like that. So yay! Um, I think the only thing that was left to do now is to try on the jeans and figure out which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm selling. So I'm just going to chuck a shirt on and um, we can get trying them on together and decide together. Okay, so this is the part of the video I need the most help with. <laughs> I need you to help me decide what jeans are the best. I'm just gonna flick around this light. Okay, so these are from Seed, size 14. They're a wide leg jean. I don't know if I like them anymore. <laughs> I think I'm going to sell them. You guys let me know. These are the cotton on curve ones from the other day. Again, they kind of have too much material around this part <laughs> for me and my body shape um so I think I'm gonna sell these these still have the tags on okay these are <laughs> my fashion nova flare jeans which as you can see I can barely get up myself anymore <laughs> um they're probably you know a size or two too small so yeah selling these <laughs> and I know that these are gonna be too small for me these are from Betty Lane and they're a size 16. Now I have a few pairs of black jeans. These are my Kmart ripped knee jeans. I can't decide if I like them or I don't know. I think it's gonna take trying on a few other black jeans to tell. All right, I've moved you to this side so you can get a better view of them because I feel the other side you couldn't see it properly. Um, I really do like them, I just think are they good enough quality? I don't know. Okay, so these are the Kmart mum jean in black. I really like these. Very comfortable, fit nicely. Now to just try on my Fashion Nova version of these to see if there's any difference in feeling. No, definitely keeping both because these are a long-legged one and quite a 90s style fit. Really like these. These are from Fashion Nova. Um, Whereas the other ones were from Kmart and cropped. Kind of like a high leg crop style. So keeping both. Probably won't need both, but you know, I like both. Okay, so these are another Kmart mum style jean. I really like how high waisted they are. I always wear them with a belt. And I just, I really like them. So keeping. <laughs> I've just found my black flare jeans from City Chic. I just know I never wear these. I've had many times where I've gone to go out for a few drinks and I just haven't chosen to wear them. So I'm going to sell these. They're stunning though, but it's just, I think, one of those things where I'm like, I'd rather wear a dress. Um, but they're gorgeous. Now these jeans are the exact same as the Fashion Nova long ones that I showed, but I have these rolled up and they're ripped. So I'm actually going to sell these because I don't need this many black pairs of jeans, okay? We are now into the skinny jean territory. 
These are from Fashion Nova, honestly. So comfortable. These are the ones I think that Elliot bought me in our Husband Bias My Outfit video. And I just think they're stunning. The patching is a little bit too harsh in my opinion, but I just really like them. I love them. They feel comfortable keeping. It's interesting. These are the City Chic skinny Harley denim and these feel thinner quality than the Fashion Nova ones. That's really interesting. Um, I do really like these so I'm going to keep them. They've got the rips and slightly different to the other pair which I'm keeping. <laughs> um, now I do have another pair of skinny jeans from Fashion Nova. These are a size 13 though and so I know they're going to be too small for me. So I'm going to sell those, even though they're a beautiful light denim colour, which is different to those other ones. And then, oh, just because that's not enough, I also have my mum jeans from Fashion Nova, um, which are the same as the black style, but in non-black, so I'll show you those. Alright, I can officially say I have tried on all of my jeans. That was exhausting, but... Well worth it to know what I have in my cupboard because sometimes you just accumulate things and don't know what's in there. So these are the Fashion Nova jeans. Let me just fix up the bottom. I'd be interested to know your thoughts in comparison to the Kmart mum jeans that we just tried on before. What your favourite is. I really like the consistency of colour with these and these also feel like the best denim that I've tried on today. Um, and I think these are like got it from your mama mum jeans or something like that. They are gorgeous. Their only downfall is they're not as high waisted as I would normally like. But that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're a shorter torso person. Then it might be a really nice option for you. Ah, oh, right. So after all of that, that is all the denim that I'm selling. And that is all the denim that I'm keeping. I am so hot and sweaty. <laughs> I will come back once I have recomposed myself. Okay, that is everything to sell and donate. Oh, I feel like it's so much. And one thing they don't tell you about selling clothes online is that you have to shoot yourself in all of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be here for hours taking photos of myself. But first of all, I need to edit this video for you guys to watch it. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I haven't been as consistent with my videos on this channel. I'm trying my best um, to balance and prioritize everything in my life that I would like to include in my life. Um, but I promise there will be more videos coming really soon. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go down and hit the thumbs up. Come let me know your opinions on the jeans and other pieces throughout the video in the comments. And don't forget to check out anything that I'm selling over on my Depop, which will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys really soon for another video. Bye.